Ex Hello, excuse me. You are not playing the ATVU anthem first, you are playing the national anthem. Please, shall we rise for the national anthem? The national anthem. Shall we rise for the national anthem? Okay, the ATV anthem, please. Thank you very much. Shall we get seated? Please, those who have no seats on this podium shall please find somewhere to sit. We don't want to see people standing on the podium. Thank you very much. Now, before we begin the exercise today, we would like to use this opportunity to seek for God's guidance protection and success of the event. So I will first of all invite Malam Umar Shehu Aliyu, the Deputy Chief Imam of Abu Bakr Tufa Baleo University, to come forward and give us an opening prayer. <clears throat> Imam Umar Imam Umar Shehu Aliu, is he not around? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al-Kareem wa barat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters in this important gathering, indeed, Allah and his angels send blessings upon the prophets all you who have believed 
asks Allah to confer his blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asks him to peace him. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad kama sallayta ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Wa barik ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ورحم محمد ورحم آل محمد كما رحمت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم قسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا بها جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا أبدا ما أبقيتنا واجعله الوارث منا وانصرنا على من آدانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا اللهم اجعل مجتمعنا هذا مجتمعا مرحوما واجعل تفرقنا بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا معنا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم ولي أمورنا خيارنا ولا تولي أمورنا شرارنا برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Now I will invite the chaplain of Abu Bakr Chufabale University and the person of Pastor Adebenga Ademi to come forward and also give us a Christian prayer. We are in prayers. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for today that you have made. We thank you, Lord, for counting us among the living. We return all the glory to you in Jesus' name. Eternal Rock of Ages, we commit this program being organized by this great university unto your holy hand. We ask, Lord, that you will breathe life into it and cause it to be successful to the glory of your holy name in Jesus' name. Lord, we commit all the graduates unto your holy hands. We ask, Lord, that after graduation, you will make room for them. Where they will lift up further the great name of this great university to the glory of your holy name. Father, we thank you. We bless you. For we are prayed with thanksgivings in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, the Deputy Chief Imam and the Chaplain of Abu Bakr Chofa Bali University for asking God to commit us to a successful beginning and ending of this exercise. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before I hand over to the Registrar, I would like to recognize some important dignitaries that are here, and I would like to start with His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Boucher State, Senator Bala Mohammed Kauram Bauchi Jagaban Katagum, who is represented by his deputy and the person of Right Honorable Awalu Jachao Sai. You are welcome. I would like to also recognize the presence of the representative of GCEO of NNPC Limited, Dr. Mele Kolo Kiari, who is today being represented by al Hajid Al-Ladi Inwa, the Executive Vice President, Business Services of the organization. Sir, you are most highly welcome. I would like to recognize the presence of our father, the Emir of Katagum, Al-Haji Dr. Umar Farouk II, OON. 
Sir, you are most highly welcome. We also want to recognize the presence of the Emir of Misau, Alhaji Ahmed Suleiman, MNI. Together with the other Emirs is the Emir of Jamari, Alhaji Nuhu, Ahmed Wabi, MNI. You are welcome, sir. Then we have the Emir of Das, Alhaji. Let me also recognize the presence of Sarikimbai of Gombe, who was a former chairman of the governing council of this university in the person of Ambassador Yarima Abdullah. We also have the first registrar of Abubakar Tafabale University, who is also a honorary degree recipient this afternoon in the person of Ambassador Adamu Aliyu Waling Katagu. Sir, you are welcome. I will also recognize sir. So let me recognize the representative of the visitor that is the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Sorry. The representative of May I recognize the former Vice Chancellor of Abubakar Tfabali University, Abubakar Sani Sambo, former, former Vice Chancellor Professor Garba Aminu Babaji, former Vice, Vice Chancellor Professor Hamisu Mohammed, and our lecturer of yesterday, Convocation Lecturer Professor Umar A. Pate, the Vice Chancellor of Federal University, Kashi. We have Alaji Dukko of Saudi, who was the chairman of the occasion yesterday and is the representative of the Katsina State Governor, Omaru Dukko Rada, doctor. I would like to recognize the representative of the visitor, that is the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the person of Mr. Ochin Do James, FME. Let me continue with recognizing Professor Isaac Samani Buswat, who is the representative of the Vice, Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria. I would like also to recognize the presence of Professor Omar Ali, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics, representing Vice Chancellor Sulelami University, Kaping Hausa, and I would like also to, to recognize the presence of Dr. Hashim Sabo Biello, who is the current director of Awagra Chachari Ali Polytechnic Bauchi. I would also like to recognize Senator Shehu Buba Omar, Senator representing Bauchi South Senatorial District, the person of Barista Jibrin as Jibrin. May I tilt a while to recognize principal officers of Awakar Chipawale University. First, I would like to recognize the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mohammed Ahmed Abdulaziz. Sir, you are welcome. I will also recognize the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics and chairman of ceremonies of Abubakar Tafabalewa University, who is by extension the chairman of this convocation committee organization, and the person of Sani Osman Kunya, Professor Sani Osman Kunya. I will further recognize the presence of Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration and the person of Professor A.S. Fagam. I will also recognize the acting registrar of the university, Hajia Aisha Idris, then the acting bossa of the university, Alaji Hassan Tolba Gwani. I also want to recognize the acting librarian of the university and the person of Dr. Dauda Adamu Bakum. And with time, when we get more names of dignitaries we missed, 
we are going to make the announcement in due course. This is an academic exercise. My job is done, and I would like, I would like to invite <clears throat> the registrar of the university and the person of Hajia Aisha Idris to come forward and take over the responsibility. The, the registrar. Yes. Sorry, before uh, the registrar comes on, <clears throat> I would like to make an announcement that you will have noticed we have missed the mentioning of the Chancellor of the University, the AWE of Adwe Kiti. Unfortunately, he is unable to be here with us in person, but all these responsibilities are now conferred on the Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much. The Rama. All protocols duly observed. May I invite the vice, the vice chancellor, who is representing the chancellor, to declare the 26th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th combined convocation ceremony open. Mr. Vice Chancellor, Mr. Chancellor, sir. Stone on me, the vice chancellor, who by act can represent the chancellor. I hereby declare this uh, convocation open. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I invite the vice chancellor to deliver his address, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir. Representing the Post Chancellor, who is unavoidably absent, he is sick, hospitalized in UK. And by virtue of the Act, of the University Act, the Post Chancellor can stand in Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, represented by Al Haji Bala Dipko, the Group Chief Executive. Officer of uh, NMBC Limited, represented by Al Haji Eladi Inua, our own Emir of Katagum, Emir Misau, Emir of Jamare, Emir Das, our former Pro Chancellor, Ambassador Erima Abdullahi, Al Haji Bukar Goni Aji, the first registrar of this university, our father, Ambassador Dr. Adama Aliyu, my Swabada, and former Vice Chancellor of Abakat Babali University, Professor Abakar Sani Sambo, all other former Vice Chancellor of Abakat Babali University, our distinguished lecturer, convocation lecturer, Professor Umar Pati, my colleagues and friends, all visiting vice chancellors, rectors, provosts, principal officers of Abakat Mabali University, Senate members of Abakat Mabali University, congregation members of Abakat Mabali University, staff, students, invited guests, and all former 
council members of Akwetu Awali University, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, good morning. I am delighted to stand before you this morning. As the chancellor of this great university, I will start by expressing my gratitude to God for the excellent opportunity to witness this vital gathering today. My brothers, the Emir Bochi and the entire Bochi State Council of Chiefs, I want to mention your alloyed support to our university as displayed in your exemplary and quality leadership as royal fathers. Indeed, the support of our traditional institution, especially at this trying moment of our time, is crucial because our duty is to be to the parent to all and role model to be all to be role model to the whole society. We are closer to the people and we feel more than any institution the faults of the people. We must continue to employ our wealth of experience, support, wisdom, and the confidence the people have in us to assist in building our society. The multiple challenges we are facing today can be solved by us. With God and with our unalloyed commitment, we shall triumph. At this juncture, let me call on the federal government to continue introducing changes that, that are in consonant with modern times in promoting the deployment of our Nigerian universities. I have followed the new policy of President, President Bola Ahmed Chinibu's present administration significantly at, as it affects the yearning and aspiration of our university staff. And this is uh, first significant in trying and understanding that the four months arrears for academic staff have been paid. The government has proven to be responsive and tuned with the reality. The satisfaction of the university staff is the first significant step towards conducive atmosphere for meaningful learning. I do not doubt that the present administration will stop at nothing to ensure that all university staff are comfortable with government policies and action for them to give their best for the gain of the system. Finally, let me draw the attention of parents to keep maximum attention to their children and wards. We are now living in a time when socialization is taking a global dimension. We have to be worried of social media. The world has indeed become a global village. New attitudes and ways of life are known to us are now standard practice. Parents must assist the university in the training and monitoring of our children to ensure that they do not fall prey to the hands of evil influence, either during their stay on campus or while they are on holiday at home. The future of our country will be squarely rested on the use of today. How we will then determine the kind of leaders they will become tomorrow. And in turn, it will determine the density of our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank everyone here for the opportunity to honor our invitation and grace this, okay, uh, this convocation ceremony. I wish everyone a safe journey back to their various destination. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I invite visiting vice chancellors, rectors, provosts, and other heads of establishments to come forward and have a handshake with the vice chancellor. Visitors are to mention their names and the institutions or establishments they represent, please. Sani Ahmed Yauta, 
Deputy Vice Chancellor, Gombe State University, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ali Usman El Nafati. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremiah Innocent, Registrar of Good State College of Education Ankara, representing the Profus College of Education Ankara. Thanks. Professor Sefian Ishiaku, Provost Gombe State College of Education and Legal Studies, Nafada, wishes to facilitate and congratulate Abubakar Tafawi University for this convocation. Congratulations. My name is Professor Abala Maja Abdulhamid, representing the Vice Chancellor of Management, staff and student of Bautista University, Ghana. Congratulations. My name is Professor Ahmed Imam, representing the Vice Chancellor. I'm Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mohammed Kari Mohammed. Congratulations. My name is Professor Umar Ali, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Sula Lamid University, Kapan Hausa, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mohammed Ibrahim Yakasi. Professor Isaac Samani Rabo Budsot, DVC Admin National Open University of Nigeria, representing my VC, Professor Olufemi Peters. Congratulations, please. Yes, sir. I am Professor Sani Abaliu, representing the Vice Chancellor, Amadou Bello University, Professor Kabir Bella. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Abubakar Adamu, representing the Provost Federal College of Education Technical Gombe, Dr. Ali Adamu. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Prof. I am Dr. Mohamed Madi Yunusa, Provost Federal College of Education Technical Potter School, Yobe State. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. I am Abdullahi Garaba, representing the Rector Federal Polytechnic Board. I'm Dr. Abu Mohammed, representing the Provost Federal College of Education for Technical Beaches. Congratulations. My name is Shego Adesina, representing Joint Admission uh, and Matriculation Board. I'm representing Professor Isaac Oloyedi, the Registrar. Thank you, sir. I'm Arkali Mohammed, Deputy Vice Chancellor Admin, Federal University of Health Sciences, Azare. Representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Valama Thank you. I am Dr. Hashim Sabo Bello, Director of Katara Polytechnic Kibochi. Congratulations. I am Professor Marupate, the Vice Chancellor, Federal University, Kashare Gombe. Representing the university, we congratulate ATBU on its combined convocation ceremony. My name is Dr. Ahmed Issa Ahmed, the Provost of the College of Agriculture. Thank you. May I call upon the deans of the faculties and Provost College of Medical Sciences to present their candidates for the award of degrees, of various degrees. We'll start with the Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. Dean. Where is it? He will be followed by the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Engineering Technology, then the Dean, Faculty of Environmental Technology, 
Dean, Faculty of Management Sciences, Dean, Faculty of Science, Dean, Faculty of Technology Education, and Provost, College of Medical Sciences, the Dean, Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. You can take the podium. Graduates from the Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. Here present, please may you rise and remain standing. Only BS, BTEC students, please. PG students, you should sit. Only undergraduate students, please. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology uh, for the combined uh, convocation, including those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent, and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of the degree of B. Agric Tech, as the case may be. Dean, Faculty of Engineering and Engineering Technology, to come forward, please. Candidates from the Faculty of Engineering and Engineering Technology here present should please rise up and remain standing. Honorable uh, Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Engineering and Engineering Technology, including those who for good cause and unavailably absent, and for whom I stand prosy, who have been found worthy both in character and in learning uh, the award, I mean for the award of the degree of engineering technology, BH. Thank you. Next is the uh, Dean, Faculty of Environmental Technology. Okay. May the students from the Faculty of Environmental Technology rise up and remain standing. Chancellor, sir. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Environmental Technology including those who for good cause are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of the degree, as the case may be. May I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Management Sciences. Okay. Okay. Candidates from the Faculty of Management Sciences, please rise and remain standing. Chancellor, sir. Uh, Honorable Chancellor, sir. I present you candidates from the Faculty of Management Sciences, including those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of the degrees of B Management Tech, Accounting, Business Management, Information Technology, and Banking and Finance, as the case may be. Thank you. Thank you. 
I now call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Sciences. Uh, I present you. Uh, please, uh, candidate from Faculty of Science, can you rise off and remain standing, please? Chancellor, sir, I present you uh, candidates uh, from Faculty of Science, including those that are absent, whom I stand proxy for, uh, for that are found worthy in both character and learning for the award of BTEC degrees of Abu Bakar Tapao Balewa University. Thank you, sir. May I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Technology Education. Uh, candidates from the Faculty of Technology Education, please rise up and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor, sir. I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Technology Education including those who for good cause are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of degrees of Bachelor of Technology in Science, in Technology, Library Science, and so on, as the case may be. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not the least, may I call upon the Provost of the College of Medical Sciences. The college has three faculties, the basic clinical sciences, the basic medical sciences, and the clinical sciences. Thank you. Candidate from College of Medical Sciences, rise and please remain standing. <laughs> Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present you candidates from the College of Medical Sciences, including those for good cause are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning with the award of degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Thank you. Thank you. May I call on the Chancellor to confer the degrees to the graduates. Chancellor. By the authority of Senate, I compare on you, both present and those who are for good cause, are unavoidably absent and for whom the Dean stands closely, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of degrees of BTEC, as the case may be. Thank you. Congratulations. The next is the award of prizes to outstanding graduates of the university.
May I read out the list of prizes and awards for the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th convocation. Number one, the Pro Chancellor's Prize for University Overall Best Performing Student. It goes to Onakpa Augustine Eyukujo from Industrial Chemistry. We have the Vice Chancellors and Late Engineer Dr. Mekanti Kachala Barus Prizes for the best overall graduating students in the university. We have Yakubo Hamza for the 2017-2018 session. We have Onakwa Augustine Eyukujo for 2018-2019 session. Lilongfe Shamma for 2020-2021 session. We have Abdullahi Abdul Karim Suleiman for the 2021-2022 sessions. We have the Professor Fatima Bintasawa Prize for the overall best graduating female student in the university over the years. She is Omotala Justina Olubumi of the 2021-2022 session. We have the Ambassador Dr. Aisha Laraba Abdullahi's Prize for the overall best graduating female students in the university for the four sessions. We have Mwanko Sylvia Chinyere. We have Kamis Zainab Muhammad, Adebayo Tokwe Zainab, Omotala Justina Olubumi. We are having graduates for the first time in the history of the Abu Bakr Tafab Aliyah University from the College of Medical Sciences. And I read the awards. Provost Prize for the best all-round graduating MBBS student goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. If she's around, I think she should come up, please. Provost Prize for the best all-run preclinical MBBS student goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. The Abu Bakr Tafa Balewa University Teaching Hospital Chief Medical Director's Prize for the best graduating clinical student goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. The Al Amin Hospital Bauchi Prize for the overall best graduating female student, Bauchi State Indigent, goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. Late Dr. Musa Muhammad Dambam's Prize for the best graduating student in primary health care goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. We have the Bakatma Prize for the best graduating student in community medicine. Goes to also Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. The Professor Ibrahim Saleh Malajia's Prize for the best graduating student in human physiology. Goes to Dr. Garba, it goes to Dr. Adamu Muhammad. The Dr. Lamaran Dettijos Prize for the best graduating student in obstetrics and gynecology goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. <laughs> Professor Sani Malamis Prize for the best graduating student in pathology goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. <laughs> the late Professor Usman Abjas Prize for the best student in hematology and blood transfusion goes to Dr. Garba Khadija Muhammad. (Applause) 
May I call on the Chancellor, sir, to congratulate, to congratulate the best students. Chancellor. So uh, I want to present this all the awards to Dr. Garba Khadija Mohammed. Me mata baso kien kita gum. Wana abu alhali na gareka. Wana sorry for using vanakula. Wana kita gum ne. So ya kamata kule dita adu bata. Kuma jamaa la tazaji tega mira amata. Sorry, I'm just trying to say that this is the Emir is around of Katagum, and she is held from Katagum local government. And since the Emir is around, we have to inform the Emir so that it's a treasure, it's a treasury for 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 Katagum Emir and Bauchi State at the hall. Congratulations, Dr. Garba Kadija Mohammed. And uh, the father is a lecturer of uh, in Abakatawale University, uh, Department of Physics. Sorry, we are going to have a brief photo session. It's a great achievement, not only to ATBU of Anbauchi State, but Nigeria as a whole. For a female to be the best graduating student in the College of Medical Sciences, congratulations once again.
Thank you. Can we continue? Okay. Thank you. We now proceed with the award of postgraduate diplomas and master's degrees. May I invite the Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, to present candidates for the award of postgraduate diplomas and master's degrees. Dean, sir. Chancellor, permit me to call on the postgraduate diploma student as well as master student to please rise and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates from the School of Postgraduate Studies, including those who for good cause are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of postgraduate diplomas and master's degree, as the case may be. On the Chancellor to confer the degrees to the candidates. Thank you. By the authority of the Senate, I confer on you both President and those who are for good cause are unavoidably absent, for whom the Dean stands proxy, who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of postgraduate diplomas a master's degree as the case may be. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. We'll still call the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies to present candidates for the award of doctorate degrees. Dean, sir. The Chancellor, sir, permit me to present uh, the candidates for the award of uh, PhD. May I call on all candidates for the award of Doctor of Philosophy of Abokat Ha'ulia University to please rise and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates from the School of Postgraduate Studies, including those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent, and for whom I stand proxy, 
who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of doctor, doctorate degree, as the case may be. Among these candidates is a graduate that graduated at the age of 74. So we are happy to inform us here that learning is a continuous process to the extent that we have one that is graduating at the age of 74. Thank you. May I call on the Chancellor to confer the degree? By the authority of Senate, I'll confer on you, both President and those who are for good cause and are unavoidably absent, and for whom the Dean stands proudly, we have been found who have been found worthy in both character and learning for the award of doctoral degrees as the case may be. Congratulations. May I call the graduates, the PhD graduates, to come forward for a brief handshake with the Chancellor? Other PhDs. PhD holders can also come forward for a brief handshake, please. But you have to move first. We will start with Dr. Simon Olukarede Oyekule, who bought his PhD at the age of 74. He is currently 79 years old. He graduated in the 2018-2019 session. Praise the Lord. My name is Simon Oluka Odeoyekunle. Um, when I came to the country, I couldn't get anybody to supervise my PhD degree program until I met Professor Amisu, Professor Diso, and Professor Asheri. When I discussed with them, Professor Asheri volunteered to supervise me for the tubo engine project. And that was how I became a student of ATBU. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can start coming up, please. Yes. Thank 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am.
We are now moving to the award of honorary doctorate degrees, honoris causa, to some distinguished Nigerians. May I invite the university orator to read the citations of the following candidates. Those to be awarded the honorary doctorate degrees are as follows. We have Alhaji Bala Mejama Awunti, who is unavoidably absent. He, he will be awarded with the Doctor of Science, DSC, honoris causa in the sciences and related enterprises. We have Ambassador Adamo Aliu, while in Katagun, OFR, MNI, who will be conferred with the Doctor of Management Sciences, DSC, Honoris Causa, in Management and Related Enterprises. We have late Dr. Kachala Mekantibaru, who will be conferred with Doctor of Engineering, DNG, Posthumous in engineering and related enterprises. We also have Professor Buba Gareji Bajoga, who will be conferred with Doctor of Engineering, D. Ent Honoris Causa in Engineering and Related Enterprises. He is also unavoidably absent. Then we have, last but not the least, also a former Vice Chancellor of this great university, 
Professor Abubakar Sani Sambu, who will be conferred with Doctor of Engineering B. N. Honoris Causa in Engineering and Related Enterprises. May I call on the University Orator One, Professor. Professor M. M. Baba, who read out the citation of Ambassador Al Haji Adamu Aliu Walin Katavu. Prof. It's all right. Yes. It's all right. The chairman of this great and auspicious occasion, the chancellor is ably represented by our indefatigable vice chancellor. In view of time, I implore and cry for the indulgence of the chairman of this great occasion to permit me stand on all established protocols. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in view of time, I will just go straight to the point, believing, also imploring all of us that are here to also strongly believe that honor is usually given to whom it is due. This is the day when and where we are going to see and hear actually of those who have contributed directly and indirectly to the development of this great institution and the Nigerian nation at large. It is in this regard that I implore all of us that are here to lend us your good ears to actually understand who is who and why this honor is being bestowed upon. This is the citation in respect of Ambassador Adamu Aliyu, MNI. Ambassador Dr. Adamu Aliyu, OFR, MNI, while in Katagum, was born on 24th October 1942 in Azari, Katagum local government area of Bauchi State. He attended Azari Central Elementary Primary School from 1951 to 1955. Azare Boarding Primary School, 1956 to 1958. Barewa College, Zaria, from 1959 to 1963. And Barewa College, the same Barewa College, Zaria, for higher school certificate from 1964 to 1965. He got admission into the prestigious Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, where he studied and emerged with a degree in history and political science in 1969. His training took him to the Imperial College London for a course on university administration for three months in 1981. He earlier attended the Administrative Sub College of Nigeria, ASCON, in 1978 and later the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru, NIPS, in 1986. Ambassador Adamu Aliyu was also at the International Institute of Business and Economic Affairs, Geneva, in 1983. His working career began with his appointment by the Northeast government as administrative officer in 1969 and was later promoted to senior assistant secretary in 1970. 
He became the principal private secretary PPS to the military governor of Northeastern State between 1972 and 1975. Ambassador Ademo Aliu was promoted to the rank of a deputy permanent secretary, Minister of Local Government Affairs, and later the Ministry of Agriculture between 1975 and 1976. With the creation of Bauchi State, he transferred his service to his new state, or home state, of Bauchi as a permanent secretary, Minister of Home Affairs and Information between 1976 and 1977. Later, he moved as a permanent secretary to the Ministry of Trade and Industry, where he served between between 1977 and 1978, he was also permanent secretary, cabinet secretariat and administration between 1978 to 1979, and later permanent secretary, Ministry of Education, 1979 to 1981. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in view of time constraint, there is much more to tell this august audience. But I have been instructed to really give an abridged version, in other words, what I call summary of the summary. For this, I will just give some of the things that you need to know because of time constraint. You have to be here with us because the man before us here, I believe, believe, strongly believe that the man is known to most, if not all of us. If you knew him before, try to know him the more today. Ambassador Ademo Liu is a member of the Chartered Institute of Public Administration, member of the National Institute of po for Policy and Strategic Studies, MNI, member of the International Institute of Business Economics Affairs, Geneva, member of World Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, member of Nigerian Associ Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, officer of the Order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and doctorate degree honoris causa public administration from Enugu State University of Science and Technology. He was a director, Nigerian Asbestos Industries here in Bauchi, 1978, director Bank of Industry from 1990 to 1996, Director Bank of the North Limited, 1992 to 1998. Director Nile Merchant Bank, 1992 to 1998. Director Binoy Cement Company, PLC, 1992 to 1998. Director Chairman Notex Nigeria Limited, 1992 to 1998. And Director Kaduna Textiles from 1993 to 1998. Be that as it may, this gentleman has more feathers to his cap. But like I said earlier on, in view of time, I will just go to some of the things that you need to know. Ambassador Ademo Liu received several commendations from the governments of Northeastern State and Bauchi State, received from the 19 military administrators of Northern States for successful revival of the NNDC Limited as Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer. Adam Aliu was never induct inducted by any panel, never involved in police case or court cases. He currently holds the title while in Katagum, legal advisor to the Katagum Able Council as an unsalaried appointment. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman you are seeing before you is a paragon of virtues, an epitome that the younger ones especially stand to really emulate in both official and personal affairs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this brief about the brief of the Wali of Katabu.
the Chancellor. May I invite the Chancellor for the award of the honorary degree, honorary sponsor to Adamu Aliyu while in Katabu. Thank you. Having fulfilled the requirement for the uh, confinement of the honorary degrees of the Abukat of Auburn University, I hereby, on the authority of the Senate and Honorable Minister of Education, confer on Ambassador Alhaji Adamu Aliu Walin Katagum, OFR, MNI, with Doctor of Management Sciences, D. Management Science Honorary Kokosa, in the Management and Related Enterprises. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. May I call on the University Orator to read out the citation of Professor Abubakar Sani Sambu, Professor M. Malufa Shisa. The Chancellor of the University, distinguished invited guests, our honorary graduates, all protocols are duly, obediently, and respectively observed. For the exigencies of time, I have been requested to be very brief. But I want to say that when you want to talk about Professor Sambo, there is no way you can be brief. Because Professor Abubakar Sani Sambo is a household name, not only in engineering, but in the Nigerian state. I'm happy today to stand before you, Professor Abubakar Sani Sambo, because you employed me in this university. It is therefore an honor for me to stand here before you and read your citation. But I, like I said, I can only try and give a resume of the citation of Professor Abubakar Sani Sambo. Professor Abubakar Sani Sambo is an engineer to the core. In fact, engineering runs in his blood. Ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman standing here before us for the award of honorary degree, honoris causa, in the Doctor of Engineering, was born on the 31st of July, 1955, in Zaria City, Kaduna State. Professor Abubakar Saadi Sambo graduated from the prestigious Amadibella University, Zaria, with a first class honors B.Eng. degree in mechanical engineering in 1979. In 1993, he obtained his doctorate degree, Doctor of Philosophy, also in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Sussex, United States, uh, United Kingdom. Professor Sombo started his working career at Bayer University, Kano, as a graduate assistant in Mechanical Engineering Department in 1980 arose through the ranks to become a senior lecturer in 1987. By 1989, Professor Abubakar Sadi Sambo moved to Usman Damfodio University, where he was requested to go and offer his services as an associate professor in energy studies and to also head the directorate of Energy Research Center. In 1991, he was appointed Professor of Mechanical Engineering Energy Studies in Sokoto. From 1995 to 2004, Professor Abubakar Sadi Sambo served as the Vice Chancellor of Abubakar Tepao Balewa University, Bauchi. 20 years after today, 
he is coming back to receive an honorary doctorate degree. So this is an indication that as you love the ATVU, ATVU also loves you. He served briefly between July to December 2004 as the pioneer vice chancellor of the Kaduna State University before his appointment as the Director General of Energy Commission of Nigeria, where he served diligently for two terms of a total of eight years from 1st January 2005 to 31st December 2012. Professor Sambo was also named a special advisor to the President on Energy in July 2011. While at Bayero University, Kano, between 1980 and 1989, Professor Sombo taught courses in applied thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and engineering drawing. He also conducted research and development in solar radiation studies. Professor Sombo has also taught flat Flake solar collectors and siphon solar water heaters. You he also served as the sub dean and later deputy dean of the Faculty of Technology, as well as the head of mechanical engineering department of the famous Bayern University, Kano. Ladies and gentlemen, the intellectual standing before you was also the center's director of Sokoto Energy Research Center who coordinated the research group to conduct pioneering research and development activities in solar radiation studies, solar thermal conversions, biogas digesters, and stove improved wood burning stoves, and solar photovoltaic applications. He also served in the Nigerian Journal of Renewable Energy and produced the maiden edition of the Directorate of Renewable Research and Development Activities in Nigeria. While at Usman Danfodio University, Professor Sambo also served as the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic for two terms between 1990 and 1994. At ATBU, Professor Sambo strengthened the academic programs and ensured that all engineering degree programs were fully accredited by both the Council for the, Regu for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Korean, and by the National Universities Commission, NUC. Ladies and gentlemen, the intellectual standing before you established the Department of Chemical and Petroleum Engineering, as well as three other faculties of science education, management technology, and the postgraduate school of this very important university. Ladies and gentlemen, when you talk of Professor Abubakar Saadi Sambo, you are talking of a prudent manager of human and material resources. You are also talking of a person with no sense of African time. When Professor Sambo says four o'clock, five minutes to four o'clock, he will be there waiting for you. I know this for sure because I was part of his uh, management team when he was the vice chancellor. This is a no-nonsense vice chancellor who has no time for African time. Ladies and gentlemen, the man standing before us is a good consultant, good consultant when it comes to decision making. In fact, he has instituted the culture of see me. Whenever you are in the university and you get a nod with those two words, see me, you know what that means. Professor Sambo will make consultation before taking final decisions. It is an, an understatement to say that Professor Sambo is a workaholic. He's not only a workaholic, he is a super workaholic. The man works from 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 12 hours, 24 hours, 7. He works for 12 hours, even on weekends. 
if Professor Sambo is in town, you go to the parking lot, you will see his vehicle. This gentleman has full of energy to serve his motherland, the Nigerian nation. Not only that, he has the energy to deliver. Even when traveling to Abuja, Professor Sambo will first of all come to the office and clear his table. And I usually see him. He doesn't enter his car. He jumps into his car. This is to show you how Professor Sambo is. I walked under him. He was fooling us. I said, sir, please pull us gently. You are a first class candidate. We are not first class. So come on, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it. That's how Professor Sambo do it. Professor Sambo is a colossus. Professor Sambo is an icon. Professor Sambo is a patriotic. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to revenue generation, Professor Sambo is not found wanting, for he established the Abu Bakr Tepao University Trust and Investment Limited Atin, for which even the university today is benefiting from. Ladies and gentlemen, he has attracted so many grants and leakages. That's why when he was here as vice chancellor, he established the directorate of leakages. Ladies and gentlemen, on welfare issue, Professor Sambo is also number one because he established the staff school, both primary and secondary. Secondary was named International Secondary School in Bochi, which was a leading secondary school in the, in the state. Everybody, particularly the citizens of Bochi, anybody, any parent would want his child to come to International Secondary School because of its academic excellence. And that was courtesy of Professor Abokar Saini Sambo. Ladies and gentlemen, Abu Bakr Saini Sambo saw it because at the National Energy Commission, he planned the master plan of energy for the whole country and established the National Energy Data Bank as well as the National Energy Manpower Plan. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Sani Sambo's tenure at Energy Commission of Nigeria was actually monumental. He established Four other centers in Bauchi, Benin City, Ilorin, and Lagos. And two new departments were also established at the head office. The energy modeling activities were strengthened by using newly acquired computer modeling tools. And the pilot project of the commission were also strengthened by securing more funds from the National Assembly. Professor Sambo established the Journal of Energy Planning, Research and Development and modernized the Commission's news bulletin. Ladies and gentlemen, the man standing before us has a very towering accolade as far as academic laurels are concerned. Having served as the Vice Chair of Africa of the World Energy Council from 2007 to 2013, Professor Sambo is now the chairman of the Nigerian chapter of the council, which is the principal impartial network of leaders and practitioners promoting affordable, suitable, and environmentally sensitive energy system for the great benefit of mankind. Professor Sambo, who has been a staff of Sokoto Energy Research Center, is now with the Faculty of Engineering and Environmental Design of the University, as the pioneering dean of the faculty. I want to say at this point that Professor Sambo has never applied for any job. Before the conclusion of his job, another job is there waiting for him. This is Professor Sani Sambo. He was appointed of the member of the African Union Panels of Emerging Technologies in April 2020. Professor Sambo is also a traditional title holder of the Shatima Gabas of Zabzo. This is to tell you that Professor Sani Sambo belongs to the very, very dynasty of Zabzo. You know, Zabzo, Emirate Zabzo, and the Emirate of Zabzo composed of four distinct dynasties. The Beri Beri House, the Silibawa House, the Malamawa House, and the Kasanawa House. I'm happy to say that 
is a very, very dynasty, is where Professor Sambo belongs. Allah ya jaza mani shetima ngabas tazazo. Professor Sambo is a recipient of two national honors, the National Order of Merit in 1997 and the Officer of the Order of the Niger, OOEN, in the year 2000. He is the recipient of the Role Model Award of Hallmark of Labor Foundations for 2022. He is happily married and has three children. I hereby present Abu Bakar Sani Sambo for the award of honorary doctorate degree in engineering honoris causa. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chancellor, thank you very much. I present to you Professor Sani Sambo for the award of the degree. Having fulfilled the requirements for the confirmation of honorary degrees of the Abakatoba University, I hereby, on the authority of Senate and Honorable Minister of Education, confer on Professor Abakar Sani Sambo, Doctor of Engineering, D.Eng. Honoris Causa in Engineering and Related, and related Enterprises. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. May I call upon the next candidate for the confirmation of honorary doctorate degree? To late Dr. Kachala Mekantibaru. The family will be represented by Dr. Fatima Mekantibaru. Dr. Fatima. The university orator will read out the citation, please. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you citation of Dr. Mekati Kachala Baru, but for the exigencies of time, I'd be requested to be very brief. I will also do the same. I will straight go ahead to the last page of his citation. Let Mekanti Kachala Baru was a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Engineering, fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Mechanical Engineers, fellow of the Nigerian Society of Chemical Engineers, fellow Occupational Safety and Health Association, United States of America, fellow Occupation Safety and Health Association, United Kingdom, fellow Institute of Chartered Mediators and Conciliators of Nigeria, fellow Nigerian Institute of Safety Engineers, honorary fellow and patron, Chartered Institute of Forensic and Investigative Auditors of Nigeria, honorary fellow, Nigerian Society of Engineering Technicians, honorary fellow, Nigerian Metallurgical Society, Honorary Fellow, Nigerian Association of Petroleum Exploration. Honorary Fellow, Nigerian Mining and Geosciences Society. 
Professional Fellow, Polymer Institute of Nigeria, Member Council of Registered Engineer of Nigeria, Member Nigerian Gas Association and Chairman of the NGA Advisory Board, Member Institute of Directors of Nigeria, and Member Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria. Dr. Mekantubaru is a proud holder of the following chieftaincy title. The Uzo Igwe, Indu of Ibagwe Nike, Inugu Local Government Area of Inugu State. He's also the Chief Akadiaku of Biwani, Omwaka Kingdom, Njaba Local Government Area of Imo State. He is also the Ata Unene, Eastern Obolo, the Fourth. Eastern Obolo local government area of Aqua, Aqua Ibom State. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is an indigenous of Misau local government from Bochi State. He also obtained his West African Examination Council in 1978 with distinction and also a first class degree in mechanical engineering from the prestigious Amadou Bello University. He also attended the University of Sussex, United Kingdom, where he graduated with a doctorate degree, Doctor of Philosophy in Computer-Aided Engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, for the exigencies of time, I present to you posthumously, Professor, I mean, Dr. Mekanji Kachalabaru, who is ably represented by his daughter to receive the honorary doctorate degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I invite you and present to you the representative of the late Mekantu, Mekanti Baru. May Allah have mercy on him. Having fulfilled the requirement for the confirmation of the honorary degrees of the Apocatum of the University, I hereby, on the authority of the and Honorable Minister of uh, Education, confer on you Dr. Kachala Mekanil Baru, Hosphumos, with Doctor of Engineering, D. N. Hosphumos, in Engineering and Related Enterprises. to the award of Emeritus Professorship, which is going to be conferred for the first time in the history of the Abu Bakr Jafar Balea University. May I call on the University Orator to read out the citation of Professor Samuel Tabor Mbap. Professor Samuel Tabor Mbap, can you please come forward? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again to listen to the citation in respect of a true Nigerian, a patriot, somebody who served not only this prestigious institution but humanity as a whole. So I want to also appeal to all of us here to listen to the citation and respect of this gentleman by my right hand side. 
This is uh, the citation of uh, Professor Samuel Timbab, pioneer professor emeritus in animal science, Abubakar Tokabalewa University, Bauchi. Professor Samuel Mbab is an erudite scholar, a lifelong educator, an eminent Nigerian whose exemplary service to the academic and public community is worthy of emulation. Bob was born on the 14th of April, 1950. He holds BSc Agriculture, 1975, from the prestigious Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, MSc, 1979, and PhD, 1985, from the University of Ibadan, specializing in animal breeding and genetics. His PhD thesis was focused on dairy development, thus making him one of the indigenous pioneers in dairy breeding and genetics in Nigeria. He has contributed his quota to the development of agricultural industry and academia in theory, practice, human research development and service. Professor Mbab is versatile and a prolific researcher with numerous impactful publications to his credit. He commenced his academic career at the Federal University of Technology, renamed Abu Bakr Tafabala University Bauchi, as ATBU, as lecturer one in the school then, now Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, in February 1986, when the faculty was barely two years old. He was thus part of the pioneering team that laid the solid foundation of the present Faculty of Agriculture. He rose to the rank of Professor of Animal Science, Animal Breeding and Genetics, Asabakas, 1999. He was at the inception of the development of academic programs from curriculum, teaching at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels to establishment of relevant units of operations, especially farms. To Professor Mbaev's credit is the visionary innovation and creation of specialist postgraduate programs. It was while he was the coordinator, HOD, of animal production program that he initiated the curriculum drafting of a postgraduate diploma in animal production and health, and subsequently, MSc Animal Production and Health. It is worthy of note that these courses are highly subscribed as it is only ATBU, Bauchi, that uniquely offers both options of production and health. He has served credibly his two full tenures as the coordinator of Animal Production Program and as dean School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. Similarly, Professor Mbab was actively involved in the initiation, planning, development, and take-off of the Faculty of Agriculture of University of Jos. He became the foundation dean to give the faculty a good start. His team has in consonance with University of Just Management sold for and obtained funding for the take off of the faculty substantially from that form. Professor Mbab has patriotically and commendably continued to mentor postgraduate students pro bono from 2020 when he retired to date. Professor S.T. Mbab is an everyday scholar, as mentioned before, renowned for his exceptional contributions to academia, extensive research endeavors, and significant leadership roles. He has been consistent in contributing his quota to the development, widening, and strengthening of academic quality and downright invigoration of animal production research and development, not only here at ATBU, but the Nigeria University system. His meritorious service to Abu Bakr Tafa Abalewa University, Bauchi, spanning a period of 34 years, of which 24, 21, 21, that's 1999 to 20, 
20, was spent as a full-fledged professor of animal breeding and genetics with unblemished record. He could rightly be considered the longest serving member of the faculty with unbroken service to retire. His service was marked with distinction in several segments. The area of human resource development, however, stands out. It is on record that he has mentored several students that are, very, that are in various pairs of human endeavor and animal science profession and academia. To his credit, his graduate mentees are 14 full-fledged professors and three leaders. This is a rare achievement nationally, particularly considering the specialist area of animal breeding and genetics, where there are only few professionals. Professor Bob has demonstrated uncommon exemplary public and community service, thus making him an iconic patriot. His contributions to various universities and uh, national committees, he had served as Honorable Civil Commissioner of Agriculture, Water and Natural Resources in the former Plateau State from 1992 to 1993, a member of the Ted Fund Standing Committee on Research and Development, where he served in the Agricultural Thematic Group. Professor Mbapp is a registered animal scientist foundational fellow of the prestigious Academy of Natural Science and Engineering, a fellow and a member, Board of Trustees, Genetic Society of Nigeria. Professor Bob is happily married and blessed with three children. Professor Samuel T. Bob's nomination for the award of Emeritus Professor of Animal Science is supported by an impressive array of academic achievements, leadership experiences, and personal attributes as a lifelong educator. Finally, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with this abridged abrid version of citations, I humbly present to you Professor Samuel Mbab as an iconic patriot, an educator and leader by excellence who has contributed immensely to the growth of ATBU, an animal science profession in Nigeria and beyond, to be inducted as the pioneer emeritus professor of Abu Bakr Tafa Abalewa University, Bauchi. Before I could conclude, or finally of the finally, I want to employ all those who are honored today here and those who are even yet to come on board. Wherever you go, wherever you find yourself, always remember ATBU because it made you what you are. Thank you and God bless all. Mr. Chancellor, sir, may I invite you to confer the Honorary Emeritus Professor to Professor Samuel Chabo Mba. Having fulfilled the requirement for the confirmation of the Emeritus Professorship of the Apocalypse of Malay University, I hereby, on the authority of Senate and Honorable Minister Application, confer on Professor Zanmar Tabu Mba with the uh, Professor Emeritus of Animal Science. Congratulations, sir.
are going to make a slight amendment to our program. May I invite the Executive Governor of Bauchi State, ably represented by Honorable Awal Jato, to read out his address. Sir. Billahi salil alim Minan shaitani rajim In the name of God The entirely masculine And the especially masculine Your Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinebu who is ably represented by Mr. Ochiado James of the Federal Ministry of Education, the representatives of the Governor of Katsina State, representative of the Governor of Gombe State, my distinguished fathers, the Royal Highnesses, the Emir of Katagum, the Emir of Misau, the Emir of Jamari, and the Emir of Das. The representative of the Emir of Bauchi, the representative of the Group Managing Director of the NNPC, the representative of the EMEA, other EMEAs here present, representative of the Senator Shehu Buba, the distinguished awardees, I will at this juncture like to say, distinguished awardees or recipients of the awards today, what you are here today is as a result of what you were yesterday. And what you shall be tomorrow also largely depends on what you are today. I enjoy you to continue working hard and tough to continue working to support us. I believe this is the end of the study. The executive, the right honorable members of both sister house of assembly here present the executive secretary national university commission the pro chancellor and the chairman governing council of abubakar tafa balewa university 
the vice chancellor abdi abubakar tamba balewa university this the chief representative of the chief of staff who is the deputy chief of staff to the government of Boucher State. The special advisors, the right honorable commissioners, is chief executive of Prostatals and head of extra ministerial departments, members of press, other invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am highly delighted to be invited to participate at this auspicious occasion of the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th combined convocation ceremony of the Abu Bakr Tabao Balewa University Bauchi. Today's momentous event marks a significant milestone in the lives of our graduating students who have successfully traversed the challenging part of higher education and are now ready to embark on the next chapter of their lives. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the graduating students. Your hard work, dedication, perseverance have indeed paid off. And we are proud to witness your remarkable achievements. As your fellow citizen and executive governor of this great state, I am an advocate of innovation, progress, and development. Abu Bakr Tabo University has consistently and persistently been a beacon of knowledge and innovation. Standing tall among its contemporaries in our great nation, the institution commitment to excellence and pursuit of Knowledge is evident in its outstanding academic program, dedicated faculty members, and state-of-the-art facilities. Through its approach to education, ATBU Bauchi nurtured generations of leaders who have gone on to make significant contributions in various fields of human endeavor. I wish to make it unequivocally clear that Boucher State Government fully subscribes to the truism that education is the bedrock of progress and development. The person I am representing to you is a proponent of the following statement. The purpose of education to the distinguished governor of Bautistan is to turn mirrors into windows. He also once told me that this education you are seeing is the vaccine of violence. It is his humble belief. Education is not a preparation for life only. He said education is life itself. In one occasion, he said, Our, you should always have it in your conscious mind that education breeds confidence, and confidence breeds hope, and hope breeds peace. My, what we are learning today brings a perpetual peace and progress, not only to Bouchester, but to Nigeria in totality. It is in this belief that we inform our unwavering commitment to enhancing educational infrastructure, providing scholarship and grants 
and improving access to quality education for all. Our support and partnership with the ATBU and other federal government agencies. High institution of learning in Bautista is a testament to this commitment. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to use this opportunity to inform you about the effort of my administration toward enhancing the welfare of teachers and students in addition to improving infrastructure in our educational institutions. Since its inception in 2019, our commitment to the educational sector has been unwavering as reflected in the various policies and programs we have implemented in the sector. In our pursuit for accessible primary education, we have undertaken the construction of over 5,000 classrooms, thereby creating an environment conducive and quantum comfortable enough to learning for our young minds. In recognition of our pivotal roles, in recognition of our pivotal role teachers and administrators play, we have engaged in comprehensive training and capacity building programs. Forming partnership with the federal government and donor agencies to uplift the standard of our educators. Our state-owned tertiary institutions of learning have also not been left out in our determination to ensure educational excellence. This is manifested in the support the state government has given the institutions toward the achievement of full accreditation of their courses, provision of physical infrastructure, and supply of office equipment and furnitures in collaboration with Tech Farm. Training and retraining of staff to acquire master's and PhD degrees and ensuring proficiency in teaching. Government has also been promptly releasing funds for the day-to-day -day activities of the institutions. Sustainability and productivity are crucial for our state-owned tertiary education, educational institutions. To ensure this, we have consistently provided adequate funding ensuring timely payment of salaries and pensions in the institutions. Inclusivity has also been a key focus. Involving students, parents, school administrators, traditional leaders, and other stakeholders to actively participate in enhancing the quality of education and reducing the number of out-of-school children. By implementing new policies, particularly leveraging on technology and robust monitoring and evaluation mechanisms, we have successfully reduced waste and corruption in our educational system. The tangible results are evident. With the rate of candidate passing YEC and NECO exams with at least five credits, skyrocketing from 30% in 2019 to an impressive 80% in the current academic year 2224. Due to the economic challenges faced by parents, we have restored and increased scholarships for vouchered indigents by 50% with plans for further increment as our resources improve. In our commitment to fairness, the, the, the investment in education reform and infrastructure will be distributed across higher education, higher institutions in the state. Additionally, 
We provided land and buildings to support the establishment of new institutions by the federal government in Azarai and Jamari. While acknowledging these achievements, we recognize there is more work to be done. That is why we have established a Ministry of Higher Education. Furthermore, I have declared a state of emergency in the education sector. The focus will be on modernizing our curriculum to instill a first about first consciousness and foster digital literacy for the benefits of students. I want to reiterate our commitment as the governor of Bauchi State to continue investing in the education sector, creating an enabling environment for our educational institutions and for our education to flourish. We will leave no stone and turn in ensuring that all eligible citizens of the state have access to quality education. To complement the effort of our institutions in producing excellent graduates, we will lead our society towards a brighter future. On this note, I wish to extend my deepest gratitude to each and every associated, everyone associated with the Abu Bakr Tapa Balewa University for their relentless effort in ensuring academic excellence. We look forward to a continued mutual relationship between this institution and the state government. Similarly, I want to congratulate the university on the recent graduation of its first set of medical students. The government, the state government will very much like to absorb this set of young men and women to address the shortage of doctors in our health facilities. In conclusion, on behalf of myself, the government and the good people of Bauchi State, I once again congratulate the graduating student of Abu Bakr Tapa Balewa University on this consequential occasion. I wish to once again say, we know you, we recognize you, we appreciate you, and we will always be out there for you. Today, we celebrate our achievements, or your achievements, and the academic excellence of this esteemed institution. I urge you to embrace the limitless opportunities that lie ahead carry the pride of being an ATBU Bauchi graduate and make us proud. As you contribute to the development and progress of our beloved state and nation at large. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, sir. We have three, uh, a brief announcement to make this. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before we continue further, I would like to use this opportunity to recognize a few other dignitaries that have come here as the occasion was going on. I would like to recognize the immediate past 
for Chancellor of and Chairman of Council in the person of Al Haji Bukar Goni Aji CFR. I'll also recognize the immediate past council member of the university, Dr. Obiako, and also another immediate past governing council member and the person of Alaji Honorable Yusuf Meongwa. I want to also recognize the representative of the Minister of Health, the Special Assistant, Alaji Radio Ugama Wasai. You are welcome. And I also want to recognize Alaji Akubu Abdul Mumini Maishani, the CEO of AYM Shafa. Okay. I also want to recognize MS, Alaji MS Aliu, also a former member of the Executive Council of the University. Yes. Al Haji Muhammad Gilado, the Madan Kim Bauchi, is representing the Emir of Bauchi, Dr. Rilwanu Suleimanu Adam. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I call on the Chancellor, sir, to confer the remaining honorary doctorate degrees with the two candidates that are unavoidably absent. Having fulfilled the requirements for the confirmation of honorary degrees of the Abukat Mabad University, I hear on the authority of Senate and Honorable Minister of Education confer on Alaji Bala Meja Munti with Doctor of Science DSC Honorary Causa in the Sciences Related Enterprises and uh, Professor Buba Garige Bajoga with Doctor of Engineering DN Honorary Honorary Causa in Engineering and Related Enterprises. Congratulations. Thank you. We now move on to the induction of graduates, graduates into the ATU Alumni Association. May I invite the Vice Chancellor, sir, to hand over the graduates to the Alumni National President. The Alumni National President. Alaji Wadasan. Um, on behalf of Abakato Valley University Governing Council, the Senate and staff are here inducted into the Abakato Tapa Balewa University Bochi Alumni Association. We have today conferred on you the degree of this great institution. I want to also remind you that the confirmation is for both academic performance and for good character. The demonstration of qualification and good character will be failed as you represent your alma mater in the outer world. Go out today and succeed. Go and take charge and apply what you have learned from here. We also urge you to succeed and to look back with pride where you are coming from, with the great deal to give back and develop a bucket of our university. May the Almighty Allah bless you as I hand it over, over to the Alumni Association and to Nigeria as, as follows. Total number of diploma, 404, 404. Total undergraduate, 15,460. Postgraduate diploma, 1653, 1653. Masters, 1559, 1559. PhDs. 176, 176, making a total of 19,254, 52, sorry. Classification of the first degree, first class, 337, 337. Second class offer, 5,489. Third class, 1,000. 867 first 525 total undergraduate 15,400
and 60. Thank you. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Mohammed Sani Wada, Jimbo Katabu, the National President of the Abu Bakr Tafa Abalo University National Alumni Association. The Chancellor, who is ably represented by the Vice Chancellor. I would like to crave your indulgence to stand on the existing protocol. My fellow alumni, on behalf of the executive members of the association and all ATVU alumni in Nigeria and in diaspora, I welcome you into the fold today with excitement and warm reception. Today's graduation marks another milestone in the history of your life. But the other milestone is that you go out as ambassadors of this great institution, Abu Bakr Tafa Palewa University, Bauchi, as part of the hundreds of alumni spread all over the world. Wherever you are, during your NYSC or in your place of work, identify with other ATV alumni and consult with them. Dialogue and brainstorm on how you will keep the vision of founding fathers alive. Think what you can do for ATV so that the Abu Bakr Tafa Baleo University you are leaving behind grows from strength to strength. I wish you success in your life journey. Remain strong and blessed. May you please all stand up, all graduates. All graduates, stand up please to take an oath. If I say I, you mention your name. I do solemnly, do solemnly, declare in good faith and honor that I will be faithful to the allegiance of Abu Bakr Tafa Balewa University and Abu Bakr Tafa Balewa University Alumni Association. Thank you and you remain inducted. You are welcome. Thank you, President of the Alumna, National Alumna Association of ATVU. May I invite the visitor, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, GCFR, the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria ably represented by Mr. James Ochedo to deliver his address. It is a great pleasure to stand before you this afternoon. I, Mr. Ochaido James, am standing in on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, who is on official engagement. He is supposed to stand in for the visitor of the university. Uh, before I read the speech of the visitor, I actually want to sincerely tender my appreciation to all the visit, all the invited guests, the happiness and the resi resilience you all sitting down under this sun. May God bless you. May God bless you. 
Your Excellency, Senator Bala Mohammed, the governor of this state, Bachi, who is ably represented by Honorable uh, Right Reverend Mohammed Awad Jatao, the deputy governor. Our royal fathers present. The Amy of Katogun, Misao, Jamai, and, and Dash, Emirates of Bauchi, GMD of NUPC, former vice chancellors of ATBU, uh, visiting vice chancellors, representative of the governor of Katsina and Gombe State. I actually want to appreciate the the Vice Chancellor of this prestigious citadel, Professor Abdulaziz Ahmad, the Senate of this university, and the, the management team, both former council members, all invited guests, the gentlemen of the press, you are all welcome. I now have your permission to read the speech of the President, the visitor, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, at the combined convocation, 26, 27, 29, and 20, 26, 28, and 29 convocation ceremony at ATBU Tapa Balewa, holding today at this Gumi campus. It gives me a great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the combined convocation ceremony of this great university. I rejoice with your university for the milestone achievement. I congratulate the graduates for their resilience in attending this height of the academic pursuit. And the parents for their unflinching support and sacrifice for their children and wards. Graduation and all the fanfares that go with them are part of the university universal tendency to retreat the moral and academic achievement of youth and senior scholars in various academic fields. It is a team of joy that we are gathered here today to honor the parents, students, and lecturers. I actually want to congratulate the Senate for this long, mild achievement, combining four series of set of convocations is not an easy time. May God bless you. I also want to acknowledge here the resilience of our academic, especially the university subsector. You have given your best over the time in spite of difficult circumstances. I want to assure you that we shall do everything within our power and within our limited resources to ensure that the university in Nigeria is improved in tune with the global best practices. Nigerian universities have witnessed untold hardship situation over the years due to frequent strike actions. We are now focused on creating an enabling environment for sustainable dialogue in order to bring frequent strike action by staff union into, Niger into Nigerian Union system, system to a permanent end. We will address some of these root causes. Root causes of strike in our university and other tertiary institutions to put an end to wanton disruptions and academic calendar and waste of time in our universities. I'd like to inform you that the present administration is steadily, consensually studying the education sector, including the tertiary subsector, with a view of finding foundable blueprint for achieve, achieving greater success in service delivery. The university system in Nigeria has come a long way and has recorded a lot of unquantifiable achievement in training of professionals in every field and experts in various disciplines that are contributing to development not only in our dear nation but worldwide. In order to safeguard the sanctity of our graduates, the federal government has noted the gradual encroachment of fake degrees certificates acquired by some unpatriotic Nigerians from unscrupulous institutions, mostly from beyond the borders of this country. 
Machineries have been put in place to bring this unwholesome trend to an end, and those who engage in, in this shall face the wrath of law. At this juncture, I want to like to urge you to intensify your con collaborative effort with the university across the globe in order to cross-fertilize research, ideas, and pursuit for benefit of our country. I am aware of the landmark achievement Nigerian, acad Nigerian academics have recorded in the areas of research in science and technology. Few countries in Africa can boast of the robust and vibrant research activities leading to amazing discoveries as been done by Nigerian researchers. Your effort will not go in vain as we are more than ever ready to give you all support needed for you to do more. We must continue to in invest in education, especially in research, to ensure that our graduates remain competitive in a repetitive changing world. Especially the convocation lecture that was held yesterday was quite impressive, and uh, which was titled Education and Nigerian Integration in the Present uh, uh, Digital Economy. Uh, the present administration has done a lot in the digital economy, and we expect that uh, the university community, the able lecturers, and their research should fine tune into utilizing this opportunity so that our uh, universities will not be uh, just presentation of paper, but presentation of paper and actualization of practical. The world is changing very fast. Knowledge is being shared faster and, and discoveries are at the doorstep of many yearning countries, economies across the globe. The era of sharing discovery is over. I encourage you to pay renewed attention to establishing technology villages in your communities to enable platforms where theoretical findings can blend with the interested productive sector for the benefit of our small scale industries. and medium-scale cottage industries. We shall give all necessary support to genuine entrepreneur and small-scale industry operators in the country to help oil in the economy. Uh, both the lecturers and the students with the 2023 Act of uh, Education Loan Fund. Every student at every level is given the opportunity to assess this opportunity, the lecturers, every viable uh, research, the federal government has tried to put a lot into the, the academic trajectory in our country today. Just bring out the reliable opportunity and you'll be sponsored. Ladies and gentlemen, world economies are becoming increasingly reliant on modern technology in order to excel. Nigeria has abundant resources to make it is economy one of the greatest in the world. Nigerians are special people, technocrats, every community of nations, wherever they go, we hear our names. At home, we should do better. The Abu Bakr Tafa Balewa University is a university of technology based. I urge you to use this platform to come up with workable solutions to our technology challenges. Your institution and indeed, your sister institutions have what it takes to do that. Nigeria awaits your positive re response to the solution we, we so dear to be innovative and competitive. I have no doubt in my mind that Nigerian academics will be on the new train for the revamping of our economy and our nation, national pride. Once again, I congratulate the university management, staff, and students for another successful convocation ceremony. For the graduate, graduating students, let me say here that you have a great challenge before you to join other good hands in working for benefit of our dear country. I urge you to sound laziness and stand up, stand on your feet, and strive towards being self-reliant. Your much-needed energy and amount of sacrifice 
you put in will greatly determine the level of success we will achieve in building and taking our country to a greater height. Thank you for your attention. Long live Abu Bakatafa Balewa University. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Um, before, we, before I call on the chairman, Convocation Organizing Committee to give a vote of thanks, I would like to make some announcements. I would just want to make some amendments. It is right, Honorable Jato Muhammad Awal, and not Reverend Peace. I would also want to inform all beneficiaries of the various uh, prize awards that they should proceed to the um, PG school behind the venue, behind this venue for the collection of their awards after the event. We are also calling on all graduates, with the exception of uh, the PhD holders, to return the academic gowns to the academic office and ATIL as appropriate before collection of their certificates. Thank you. May I now call on the Chairman, Convocation Organizing Committee, Professor Sani Usman Punya, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, to give the vote of thanks. Chairman, sir. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Biggest news stories. Go beyond the news headlines. Experience impactful investigations. Enjoy resourceful news coverage in real time. TVC News at 7 and TVC News at 10 p.m. Live every day on this channel. TVC News, first with breaking news. understand what we see and know what we like but art can be challenging it has meant different things in moments and history now art gives us access to the way other people have seen the world this is the art express and welcome to the show today on gallery affection art a group exhibition that reawakens our senses and stirs our soul brings new affection and love to visual art experience in the city of Lagos. Now, the new Erelu Yeye Odudua Cultural Renaissance Center, Museum for Living Arts, is the new base for artistic and affection experience. My name is Biodu Omolayo. I'm the one curating the exhibition. This exhibition is aptly titled Affection Art. So the purpose is to create an avenue for friends, lovers, families to come and, um, and exhale, relax and be entertained at the 